हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ मोहित पांडे वेलकम टू योर माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द टॉपिक ऑफ फिजिक्स क्लास इलेवेंथ इन चैप्टर फोर्थ ए वेक्टर एनालिसिस सो द मेन टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज वेक्टर एडिशन ओबेस एसोसिएटिव लॉ दैट मीन्स What is associative law? So you have learned from class six, seven, and eight. Where a plus bracket of a plus b plus c is equal to a plus bracket of b plus c. That means if we add add three numbers in different orders, then there is no change in the sum of those numbers. Like If you add two plus three plus four in this order, at first you add two and three, then you get two three five plus four is equal to nine. And another way is if you add two plus three plus four in this condition, at first you add three and four, then you get seven and two nine. Understand? So there is no change in the sum of And when any orders you take this order, you know this condition is known as associative law. So vectors also obey this law. And the question arises in your mind, also our mind, prove that vector A. Plus vector b bracket of vector a plus vector b is e plus vector c is equal to vector a plus vector of vector b plus vector c. Understand? So you can see in this diagram, O A B C is a quadrilateral, and O A represents vector a, A B represents vector b, B C represents vector c. And OC represents vector R, and OB and AC are the diagonals of this quadrilateral. And we use in this condition polygon law of vector addition. If you have not read about polygon law of vector addition, so you can see on your textbook of physics. Understand? If you have not. Text two, so you can read in my last videos. And if you have not seen the videos, you can get the link of their videos on my description box. So in triangle, in quadrilateral O A B C, vector A, vector B, and vector C are represented by O A, A B, and B C respectively. Understand? So Using law of vector, using triangle law, understand? Using triangle law of vector addition in triangle O A B, in triangle O A B, and what is law of triangle addition? According to triangle vector law, of, according to law of triangle vector addition, if the two sides of triangle shows vectors, then the resultant These vectors is given by third side of the triangle. So in O A B, vector A is represented by O A and vector B is represented by A B. So vector A plus vector B is equal to O B. That means vector O A plus vector A B is equal to vector O B. That means vector O B. You know vector O B. Does not represent any vector. That means vector OB is equal to OA. OA is equal to vector A, and A vector A is equal to vector B. This is equation number first. And in a triangle OBC, OBC vector OB, OBC. So vector OB plus vector BC is equal to resultant vector vector OC. That means Vector OB plus vector BC is equal to vector OC, 
and vector OB is vector R is equal to vector R is equal to vector O oh, sorry vector OC vector OC is equal to vector R understand and vector OB vector OB is equal to vector A plus B that means we can see we can write in this manner vector OB is equal to vector A plus vector B and vector BC is equal to vector C that means this is equation number second in triangle ABC A B C vector B plus vector C vector B plus vector C is equal to vector AC understand so you can write in triangle ABC is equal to vector AB plus vector BC is equal to vector AC that is vector AC is equal to the value of vector AB and value of vector BC you know vector B plus vector C understand now in triangle OAC what triangle OAC OA plus AC is equal to resultant vector that means OA vector plus AC vector is equal to OC vector that means OC is equal to vector R is equal to vector OA is equal to vector A plus AC is equal to from equation number third vector AC is equal to vector B plus vector C that means this is equation number fourth and from equation number second and fourth understand from equation number equation second and fourth we get we get vector r is equal to vector r is equal to that means vector a plus vector b plus vector c is equal to vector a plus of vector b plus vector c understand we have to prove this and this is proved hence vector addition always associative law understand so thanks for watching my youtube channel